Hello family, YouTube family. Um, today I'm just going to do a little vlog of me making a burger for my oldest son. He wanted to try the Dutchman burger. So I'm going to take y'all along and um, show y'all how I'll make it. And I'll probably be uh, recording some other things that we're getting done today. Um, my son, he's on a carnivore slash herbivore diet. So he's only eating meat and veggies. Um, it's a goal that he set for himself and my husband um, is doing it along with him just so that they can hold each other accountable. So in this one, he's eating any and everything, including whatever he finds on the floor. Um, but yeah, so I'll just take y'all along um, and that's it. And oh, do y'all like my new hairstyle? Looks a little cute, right? I try to do something with my hair. I don't know, mamas, like postpartum, it just seems like... You just have it's a journey of trying to like get yourself back to par people appearance and just even your energy because i'm still breastfeeding seven months later um and i'm just trying to like you know find myself again after you know having a baby so i just thought it would be nice to do something with my hair because i always wear um the basic styles um but yeah and you will see more of that as well i'm gonna try to record my little postpartum transition but anyways, yes, back to what this vlog is about. So, you'll see me soon. Okay, so for the Flying Dutchman Burger, you'll need some hamburger patties, onions, bacon, and some cheese. I use these 100% Angus beef patties instead of ground beef and form my own patties. They were just as good. Beef patties are really good. You can use um, fresh ground beef and uh, form the patties yourself, but I'm using these today. They're just as good. Um, and I really like these. They come seasoned as well, but I like to put my own seasoning on them. I think they're better because the seasons, the seasoned ones taste kind of like pepper. That's all you get is the pepper flavor. So I like to do my own little work up on them. So that's why I'm using these, but you can form your own patties using ground beef and make your um, cheeseburgers like that. And I don't know if I mentioned I am playing cheese on these. You'll see throughout the whole process. So here I am peeling the onions so that I can slice them into like circles so that they can basically um, substitute the bread. I didn't want it too thick and I also didn't want them too thin um, so that when they cook they don't be too soft and they're not too hard. Here I am just frying up some bacon right before I uh, grill the patty. So I seasoned these patties with the basic house seasonings, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper. So here I am preparing my copycat Big Mac sauce. I also use this um, as a dressing for my side salad with the smell. It was really good. So all those ingredients you'll put in. I don't do measurements. Um, I just nick it basically. So here I am sauteing the onions. Um, I used adobo and I went and added a little garlic powder and I just um, sauteed them so they can, both sides can have a great crisp to them. Now here I am just um, transferring the onions to our plate. Um, I put the onion down, then the um, bacon cheese patty and then the other uh, sauteed onion on top. My son wanted his mac sauce on the side. He didn't want me to um, drizzle it over the burger but then later on he changed his mind he realized that it wouldn't work where he could dip his um dutchman flying burger into the sauce um, but it worked out and here's the final look it was really good this burger um and watch my son bite into it i think he approved thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe